Hello, Miko. My name is Will Smith, and I appreciate so much you answering my questions from the other day. And so to start this, my first ever VC Post video off right, I say to you, cheers. With that said, um, really excited about the contest, really like Pink Floyd. I'm not sure if this counts as my first ever VC video post, as it it's my first post ever, but I don't know where the VC is. I've heard several people talk about it like it's a physical place, but I have no clue where that is. So, for what it's worth, here's my first post. Uh, jumping into the, some labels, I had a difficult time curating some of these down, even in my limited record collection. And so, to start off, first one I thought of Robin Trower's Bridge of Size. Great record, just overall. The first time I opened this record and saw the uh, the label, I thought it was really, really cool. It, they're on Chrysalis Records, and I just I just thought it looked neat. Um, hopefully you can see that there. So uh, other people on this, I guess Jethro Tull was on uh, Chrysalis Records, kind of cool. The next one that I that I really liked, it's a standard label is exampled here on Chris Stapleton's Traveler. This is a Mercury record label, but I just, I like how cool and simple it is. Um, so neat, Mercury there. Just think it looks good. The next one that's a standard record that I'd like to show is off of Beck's Morning phase. Um, love this record. This album in general is fantastic. Uh, another example of just something cool. It is a capital record, but it has the little capital up there at the top. Um, and capital records has a lot of different ones, but I like the planer one uh, just here with the little capital building over the top. I think it looks cool. Next one to show is going to be from. The Cars Candio. This one is from Electra Records. And part of the reason that I like this so much, hopefully that shows up well there, is that that label, Electra Records, is who, uh, who did Metallica's stuff. So all my very first Metallica CDs were Electra Records. I always thought it looked cool. They're on the side of the CD. Um, so yeah, Electra that that particular style of of logo from Electra Records. The next one to show a label of Crosby, Steele's Nash and Young Deja Vu is one good example of this label. Um, but there's lots of them that are really cool, and that is the Atlantic Green and Red. Um, I have always thought that this record label looked really really cool when I was younger. My Foreigner CD had it. Led Zeppelin stuff has all come out under Atlantic Records. I've always thought that it just looked really neat, and I've always just liked that. Um, digging through my records just to see what other kind of labels there were, there was a couple that came across where, like, they're standard labels, but they seem to fit well um, with what it was, or they seem to look cool. So one of those is MGM's uh, record here, as shown on The Animals, The Animals. I, I like this one. I thought it looked really cool, just in general. Um, then, interesting interesting example of a standard record label, Brewer and Shipley from Tarkio. It's done under Karma Sutra record label, and their label is just kind of different. Just thought that was unique. And uh, apparently that's kind of their standard label. The next one to show is example by Elton John's Elton John. Here's my 1970 original pressing of this. It's Universal uh, Records. And I thought that this swirl just kind of fit. With, uh, with Elton John, there's a few other artists in, in my collection that have this same uh, rainbow swirl label. But I thought it was kind of cool. 
So from there, moving on to some custom labels. The first custom one that I, I wanted to show in my collection was the Moody Blues 7th Sojourn. For them, it is a little uh, shooting star. Unfortunately, mine has been marked by a previous owner, but I thought it was a cool shooting star label. Next, Foo Fighters, Echoes, Silence, Patience, and Grace. Fantastic album, uh, just in general. But they've got some interesting labels, and they're, they're all different. I'll just show the ones off of the first LP. But they're kind of a half and half. So the top half in this one is some type of a gauge, and the bottom half is like a dandelion uh, flower ready, to, uh, ready for the seeds to go. And this side looks like some kind of a gear, and then the moon. And each one of them are different. I think it's I think it's kind of cool, um, just to have that unique label. Uh, the next one, Soundgarden's King Animal. This particular uh, album, each of them are different, but I'll show you these. They just go so well with the artwork, but they're different different trees. Uh, and things that go really well with their whole wintertime king animal theme of all the artwork. In fact, that whole album just has some really cool artwork in my opinion. Next favorite custom label, Dire Straits, Brothers in Arms. One of the very first albums I ever knew as a kid. Fantastic album, but I really like uh, these custom labels. That highlight the uh, the the guitar that they feature here on the cover, and I think just a cool reflection. I think uh, a very cool custom label there. The last custom label that I'll show you is uh, it's from Emerson Lake and Palmer's Brain Salad Surgery. Really cool artwork by Geiger, and they kept that on the label itself both sides so Atlantic record did this really cool custom label I thought that featured that Geiger artwork now the last label that I wanted to show is kind of an oddity nothing really special about the label it's on Billy Joel's 52nd Street I picked up this record um, at a sale at my local record store it was a two dollar sale that day picked it up and didn't notice anything odd about it Till I brought it home, and I pulled, I pulled the, the record out and looked on side two, Billy Joel, 52nd Street. Everything seems normal, and I went to flip it over to side one, and sure enough, labeled Barbara Streisand. I, I have no idea why it was mislabeled, but this same record, both sides, one. One is correctly labeled Billy Joel's 52nd Street. The other side is incorrectly labeled as Barbara Streisand. When I first saw that, I was panicked because I don't want any Barbara Streisand in my collection. Uh, thankfully, however, it is the Billy Joel record. So with that said, again, cheers. And, uh, and thanks for posting this comment, your videos. Congratulations again on, on another of your... Uh, in addition to your family, and hopefully that doesn't keep you away uh, too far for too long. Take care.